I'm Sarah Sharma and I'd like to talk to you about finding inspiration. I'm an artist and I paint and these are my paintings and right now I would like to uh, tell you about the beautiful painting called the three dimensional world. I have painted this in a way where I have many many different kind of images in there all mixed up and it shows the confusion that we all face every day in our world when we look around and I especially see a lot more than normal people I get distracted by everything so this is my image of that world that I see and I get inspirations through things I see around me and you can see this honeycomb this is a honeycomb I found on my farm and it is also like a web just like the three-dimensional world it is a web and I look at all the small insects around me you can see the leaves in this painting and you can see the insects all over this painting because that is what interests me I see all the small details in the world the lines in the painting you can see this this is a palm tree you can see the lines in the painting also and the lines all over in wherever we go the sidewalk is a line the street is a line the signboards are lines and these are also in this painting and gave me inspiration even a small insect like you see here these are all photographs I have taken way before ever I painted the painting but they all combined in my mind to make one creative imaginary world which I am presenting to you in this, this series of paintings I am very interested in Buddhism and I went to Ladakh and this is the wheel of life and these hands they speak they have words they have a meaning each position of the hand is a mudra and the mudra tells you the story of on how to live your life what you should do to have a peaceful mind in the center you can see there's a a, a churning movement of blue which shows you the churning of time and some of here you can see how the Buddhists themselves make these mudras but I made my own interpretation of this hand movements and you can see the painting on the right hand side that is also a picture I took when I went to one of their monasteries and you can see the hand of the, of the golden man with the golden uh, cap he's showing one of the mudras uh, this is um, dream catcher and this beautiful painting is about all our dreams and our wishes and our hopes and our disappointments in life the light colors are the happy moments that we are trying to catch and the dark waves are the unpredictable times that we have to just tolerate and manage our lives through you can see these photographs were taken again about 10 years after the painting was painted but you can see the similarity that it just was there in my mind much before the paintings were, uh, the photographs were taken and now you can see a painting called get ready get set go this painting is about all the tries we have in life you all the tests we go through and the bright 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 round circles represent the successes and the transparent shadows that you see around the circles we don't have color they are the non-starters plans we had for ourselves that we never made and we never did and you can see where I get all my inspiration these are broken bangles from the factories in Farozabad then this is also about how they were trying to make the bangles and they broke our expectations were broken their expectations were broken and this is part of how I see my my inspiration this is a boy who walks on the beach 
and he is trying to sell balloons. And these balloons are so fragile, you can just make one movement and they're gone in a day. But he still has hope. He's walking. He's, he wants to sell his balloons. This is all the things that I observe. And from that I make art. These are some spools of uh, thread. And again, the inspiration comes through the painting, all the web. The thread becomes a thread out of a ball. First it starts out as a round ball. And then we start pulling the thread and it unspools. And it, you can make something else with it. You can make a sweater with it. Or you can make an embroidery with it. You can do anything. These are things that cause inspiration and new ideas. This is sundowns. And if you look carefully at the clouds, they are also made of little suns. These are the suns of the, let's say the red suns are the suns that will still come. And the blue clouds represent all the sunsets that have gone in the past. And how I love looking at the sunset. Almost every day I try to look at the sunset. And that is the inspiration. Here you can see, this is one of the photographs that I have taken. And it just rep represents quite a good image of the painting. But I use my own idea on it. I think about it. As I look at that sun, I think about meanings. What does it mean? And my paintings are stories. They're stories of my thoughts. Here you can see the real clouds that I've taken photographs of. And they look very beautiful and very similar for the inspiration of this painting. And these again were taken quite recently as the painting has been painted about seven years ago. Here again you see the same similarity. So my imagination and reality of the world sometimes actually travel in time. I see something later. I see something before and then I start thinking about it and I make a painting. This is actually how I do it. The four important things for inspiration are meditation, to focus one's mind carefully on your own peace and silence. Focus your mind. Don't get split with a hundred different ideas and thoughts. This is really important to be, for being creative. Stay focused. Practice continuously. Never think that you have reached your goal of doing the best thing you can ever make. No. You have to keep practicing. And I have been painting since I was seven years old. And now I'm 68. And I still learn things all the time about how I can make a better representation of my, my ideas and my, what I want to make. The other third thing, which is very important for creativity, is new experiences. Go new places. Have new adventures. And never stop with that. Because as you experience new things, you will find new ideas and ways of expressing yourself. Experimentation is the fourth most important thing. And that is experiment. Don't be afraid of throwing paint or ideas at a certain thing that you want to make. And just experiment. Even if it's bad, just throw it away and try again. And keep trying until you get something new and wonderful that you're happy with and you are in your happiness, get satisfied that you are doing a great job with yourself. Mm -hmm.